one. Um, <laughs> I haven't done any videos for, uh, yeah, I haven't done any videos regarding on my slash and stuff like that. Uh, recently I just shredded my original tires on this little car. Um, not those, but the one that had the red bead, so-called beadlock outer part of the rim thing. Yeah, that happened. So, I put that, I put those tires on the front on this car, and then I put those, which originally they were in the front, to back here, because those were still pretty good. But, I wanted to get some grip with it. I, I don't want to wheel spin anymore. So, I know this was kind of a bad, uh, bad decision for me to, to buy. But I need something to keep this car running again. Like, run almost like it was brand new. So, I went to the shop just yesterday. And I bought a, a pair of tires. Since I'm running two-wheel drive, I don't have no use of using the front. That's unless if I want to go on the track or something. But, honestly, I'm not really driving on the track. I'm just a basher who just likes to have fun with the cars. Um... And my rustler, which is over there by my bike. But yeah, I got we got them tires. Um, these will go back into the front. Um, this this yeah, the the, um, the tires that the the other tires that were shredded had the same outer rim. So just to show you what I'm talking about, I paid for. Uh, Twenty seven ninety nine plus tax, so that's about uh, in my area. It's like point nine per uh, nine percent of tax, so that's around thirty dollars. Yeah, actually thirty dollars and, and a half dollar, so thirty dollars and fifty cents. Um, come on, man, stop blurring. All right, but there you guys have it. I just want to make a little quick update on the slash. I'm thinking about going into street street tires because I mainly drive on asphalt, but that will come later. But as for right now, I'm happy what I've got. Like I know some of you guys may say that eh, those these tires are terrible that you bought. The tires that you bought were terrible. Um, I, I understand. I know that I driven RCs with J Concept tires and. Pro line, you know those kind of things. Those are really good tires, but you know, just for a basher and just one who's just the person who just wants to get their car running, these are great. But there you guys have it. Um, speaking of which, I'm gonna be yeah. Uh, hopefully, when I get some Christmas cash, I will buy another slash because I wanted one with an onboard audio because I heard those. Um, I always see videos on YouTube of how awesome those things are, especially when your car wants to, like, it, it adds more of the realism, because, you know, since Trax has made a high center, originally made a high center gravity chassis for the Slash 2 wheel drive and a Slash 4x4, they were like, hey, we put these chassis, well, actually, Trax has put that style of chassis in the first place because they want to have, the RC driver wanted to have can have like a realistic driving experience my camera kind of stopped there but the high center of gravity chassis was meant to drive like how the real torque racing trucks are or the real trophy trucks but sometimes that that's there's a drawback to that it's not very stable unless when you get a lcg chassis like conversion like kit like this but also another thing that as the realistic experience is you know the onboard audio and what that does is basically make sure slash sound like a real truck yeah actual v8 power i thought at first those things sound like nascar but i did research on the torque racing series um they're powered by v8s like 900 horsepower v8s so they're pretty darn powerful but you know it's electric. 
Um, some people may say just go to Nitro, you get that realistic feel, uh, driving experience there. But I'm not a Nitro person, I just like electric. Uh, and besides, electrics tend to be faster than Nitros. The only thing that's true about Nitros being faster than electric is when your car is brushed. If your car is brushless and you put lipos on it, then yeah, it will totally out outrun the Nitros. Uh, brushless car with lipo, not brush with lipo. Anyways, guys, that's about it. Uh, I got some new tires, quote unquote new. They've been they've been the same. Um, and I also I'm also gonna go get us another slash soon. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna go get another slash. I'm kind of biased. Think about going either bandit or slash since I already have a slash. I have a rustler over there. And uh, I have no idea if I should get another slash for the onboard audio or spend $189 for a Jax's Bandit. Because um, cause maybe once in a while I can change my Rustler into a Bandit. Um, so either maybe a Stampede or something, I don't know. But there you guys have it. Uh, the decision's up to me. I'll figure it out myself. Alright, that's, that's all folks. I'll see you later. These things out. Um, I actually, um, the tread pattern is actually pretty good, but the only problem is when I first got my first new set of tires for this thing, these things are freaking stiff. They're not. I mean, they can grip dirt, which is okay, but it's not the best. I can give you that. So this is probably one of the reasons why uh, people don't really dislike this is because the the attire compound is really bad. The tread is the tread design is really great. Um, I personally never seen mud terrain TAs on any cars in real life, and yes, this one is a mud terrain TA from BF Goodrich. And if you don't believe me, I will put a link in the description on what would it, what those tires will look like on an actual car rim. But uh, these tires, like, I mean, just for a basher, you know, it's it's really good. But when you think about, you know, if you're racing on a track or something like that, or mainly going to do some dirt jumping, these are not that great on two-wheel drive cars. I know for a fact they do have a S1 comp. I think this one's S1. Hmm. Let me show it to you guys. Tire move, da, 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 da. No, they're not S1. Um, the S1 compounds, which are not these, but those are those are kind of soft compound. They especially do grip the road well. The tires that that originally, um, not the tires that originally came on this car, but the tire that look the tire compound. I mean, compound the tire tread and uh, rim design that I originally had earlier um, last year. This is the it was the S1 compound. Yeah. This <clears throat> Oh, but these are the rims that originally came on the slash were these type of rims um, these these worn out these are worn out already but I'm gonna put them on the front these are Kumo Venture MT so not nah, nah, I never experienced any Kumo tires on like brand new Kumos the only ones I ever tried was BF Goodrich <clears throat> <clears throat> shoot got something in my throat I can know why anyways I know Traxxas does sell the very original the actual original tread not the BF Goodrich ones um, I will also put a link on the description on that um, as well to show you what the original tread looked like I think the Robbie Gordon Dakar edition and the Robin Go Robbie Gordon Gordini slash does have the original tread but uh, don't quote me on that because uh, they may have some updates with it, but there it is. I figure I want to show you a little bit of um, what I like about these tires and what I don't like about these tires. The only thing that I like about these tires is the fact that you know it's really grippy on the street, but it's not very. But the thing I don't like about it, it's not really grippy on the dirt that much. I mean, you can get a, l a little bit of good grip on it, but it's not going to be very agile compared to what you see over there at the RC track. Those people who are driving short course trucks over there will not be, especially when they're driving Traxxas, they will not be using these kind of tires 
they will change their tires to something like J Concepts or Proline, those kind of those kind of brands, because those tires are really good. But there it is. I'm gonna put these tires on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.